Hello everybody, welcome back to IT Security Labs and today we're going to be completing this machine here called Lessons Land. This machine was created by TriHackMe and Tiberius. So let's go and see what this machine looks like and thanks to the creators here, we have a fun machine. So this is a relatively easy machine that tries to teach you a lesson but perhaps you have already learned a lesson. Let's find out. So it's supposed to be like a real thing, not like a CTF. Get past the login screen and you get the flag. So we don't have to do any scanning here. This is the target IP. We know that we're going after a web application. So I'll just copy that. Let's go to Kali, open a browser. Let's see what they're saying. And we get a login page. So what I like to do is I like to view the page source. To see if I can get anything. So just use a name and password. Nothing interesting here. Okay, admin, admin. We're supposed to learn a lesson here. Is a lesson not to try the creds? I'm just trying admin admin invalid username and password okay let's do sql and login oh no is this the lesson it looks like you have injected this or similar this wouldn't have bypass login because of low of every row in users table returned however your injection also made into a delete statement okay so you need to reset the box to restore it i guess we're going back <laughs> all right i learned my lesson don't run using that one so i'm going to terminate and start my machine again so let's go to hack trick hack tricks okay so this is a good website for checking things so it says sql injections here it will define what it is we're looking for things that do not have one equals to one so i need payloads and here is telling, telling us about union so this one does not have one equals to one so let's try these but since there's more to try here, I'm just going to copy and use burp suite instead. So if you launch burp, you can come in here, do interception on, then uh, open burp browser and paste our link. Now, if we say, let's just set our parameters test by test and login. So we have this, let's send this to intruder so we can brute force. And then here, we want it to be a cluster bomb that should work clear these for now so we can actually say we want to test the username and we want to test the password and now we have two payloads with this we can come in here and say we want to put oh that's ugly that is not cool okay let's clean this up for a second okay so we need to clean up this so we don't need these things here that are saying true or whatever. Okay, since I'm already in a text editor here, let's I'm already in a text editor, so I made as well. Let's copy these, do the same thing. This time it's not it's now a group by. Okay, this they did have the plus over there. And then let's finish with the union selects. They're saying worked, it didn't work. We don't know which one works and which one doesn't. So now let me remove the space. Everybody needs their plus. All right, so I took um, these three sections here that they talk about in Hectrix. Let's use Burp to see which of these works. Then we come here, go to Burp Suite Community Edition. I'll paste it in the position number one. I also go to position number two and paste it and start the attack and say OK. So what I'm looking at here is the length. Oh, here's one. This one, we got a hit. And here's another one. Oh, it's the same one. So this one, union select works. This one. Because the length is 1490 for everybody else, except for one union select. So we found one that works. Was it? I think it's this one. Give them that. Looks like it works with any password, so don't save. So I use Burp to automate this process. So it says, if you are confused using one, or equals to one. Oh, the lesson here is this is risky because if you use it in a real engagement, it loads all the rows of the table and it may not even bypass the login. And if the login expects one row to be returned, loading all rows can also cause performance issues on the database. So your customer is going to be unhappy with you if you're doing a pen test. However, the real danger is when it ends up with either update delete statements 
and you might modify all the roles. That is pretty much a bad idea. So we have learned a big lesson here. And thanks for Tiberius for putting this room together. Now we have our Triacme flag. So do not use one is equal to one if you care about the products that you are testing. Because you might end up with something that doesn't work. Is this the correct one? Alright, so we are done. And thanks for being here. If you like this type of content and my explanations, please remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you who subscribes to my channel. And I hope to see you next time. This was fun.